Use any resource available online to create amazing lessons that are differentiated to the correct level. Diffit is the app for you. And so let's jump onto the computer and have a look at it. Now here I'm on the main website, Diffit. I would say sign up as soon as you see this video. You still have till the 1st of November to get access to an extended trial period. After that, the trial will be much shorter. Now Diffit lets you create leveled resources about just about any subject. Now here you can see we have three main areas. We have the literally anything. This is where you can type in what you would like your lesson to be about. We have an article or a video, which I will both demonstrate to you in this video. And then we can use a text or excerpt, pop it in there and if it generates the resources. But that's not all. They come with a ton of templates, which we will also look at in this video. Let's start with the first one, literally anything. This is where you just type what you would like your lesson to be about. So let's say that I have a lesson about Nikola's Tesla. What are some of the inventions by Tesla? I'm not talking about the company. Let's see if Diffit can figure that out. We're also going to choose an approximate reading age. Here you can see we can go from second grade all the way up to 11th grade and above. Let's choose the second grade. This is the lowest. Let's see what it can do with that prompt. We're going to click on generate resource. Diffit is going to start working in the background. It also shows you a couple of those templates that I mentioned, and it's going to generate that resource. And here we are. What are some of the inventions by Tesla? Now, remember, this is at a grade two level. So here we can see Nikola Tesla was a smart inventor who made lots of cool things. He had over 300 patents, and it keeps that language easy and easy to use in a second grade classroom. Now you can see we also have a summary and some key vocabulary all popped in there, all generated for us in no time. As I scroll down, I can even see some multiple choice questions, short answer questions, open-ended prompts. All of these can be used in your lesson. Now it doesn't stop there. As you can see, we can add questions. We can ask for more short answer questions. Let's say three is not enough. Let's click on this. And here we can now add in some more questions. Let's say that I need three more basic comprehension questions and let's generate those. It's going to generate a couple more and now I have eight short answer questions. In addition to that, we can also click on the show answers. This will show us where the answer is and we can edit our questions to change certain spellings or different mistakes that we may spot or maybe we want to add in something relevant to our own class, to our own school. We can then also copy this and pop it into our own documents. But that's where it starts, because as you can see here at the top, we have a button that says export and share. When I click on export and share, I get all these templates built into Diffit. You can see we have a print and save it as a PDF, printable docs, which will export it to Google Docs. We have forms, we have workbooks, we have these Freyer model vocabulary templates. We have all different templates. Now you can see this little lightning bolt here. That means these are premium features. Again, if you sign up before the 1st of November, you'll have access to these until January. After that, Diffit's model is really aimed at getting schools on board. And so you'll have to ask your school to get access to Diffit. Now, just for the record, this is not a sponsored video. I really, really like this tool. Otherwise, I would not be sharing this with you. Now, let's have a look at some of these example templates. We have a bubble map. We have cause and effect, graphic organizers, claim and evidence. Let's choose a digital doc as an example. We're going to click on digital doc. Now it's asking us, what would you like to include? I want to include everything and I'm going to click on open with docs. It generates that Google doc and before you know it, it will open it up for you with all the information by the AI in that document. So here you can see we can share it to our classroom or we can check it first in Google docs. Let's do that. It's always good to double check. Here we have at the top our term, our definition, example sentences. Then we have our text. And you can see as we scroll down, we have all these different elements that were in there already pre-populated into this template. An amazing time saver. And that is when we start from scratch. Now let's say that I want this later time. I've prepped it and I want access to it while well, it always gets saved under my resources. Here you will always find your previously generated resources. 
Now let's go back to the homepage and let's try that second portion of the Diffit website. This is where we can use an article or a video. Now let's say that I've already prepared an article. I have an article here from my blog written by James Abella. I'm going to take this article and I want to turn it into a little, let's say I want to turn it into a brainstorming session for our teachers. It talks about how AI detection can really hurt our EAL learners. And so let's pop that in here. We're going to paste the URL. This is for our teachers, so let's go ahead and set this to the 11th grade or above, and let's generate that resource. Again, it's going to take that URL, read all the information on that website, take that article, and turn it into lesson content. So let's have a look at it. It gives me the text, it gives me a summary of the article, so you can see there's three points here that have been summarized. And then here we have some multiple choice questions, short answer questions, open-ended prompts. Let's export and share this. We're going to click on export and share and look for a relevant template that can be used for staff PD training. Now, instead of having those pre-populated questions, let's just go with a printable doc. Easy for all staff to print. We're going to click on that printable doc. Now, do we need the adapted reading passage? Yeah, we can leave that in there. The summary can stay in there. Title image. We don't need the vocabulary. We're dealing with our teachers. We can leave some open-ended. We don't need the short answers and we don't need the multiple choice. Let's go ahead and open this with docs. It's going to generate that Google doc again and then open it up for us. Here we go. We can click on open Google doc. This is my new document. And then here we see we have our text at the top, a summary, and then some open-ended questions. These can then be used to discuss this during our PD session. That's using an article just simply pop that URL into Diffit and you are good to go. Now, articles are not the only thing you can put here. You can also put video URLs. So here, for example, I have a video. This is a very long 44 minute video from National Geographic on the elephant calf and is following it for a full year and seeing all the things it experiences in its first year of life. I would love to use this as a resource in my class but I do not have 44 minutes to watch the entire thing. So let's go ahead and copy that URL, paste it in here. And let's say this is a, and let's go with the fifth grade level and generate that resource. And if it is going to take that video transcript and it's going to do the exact same thing, summarize it, give me key vocabulary, give me questions open-ended as well as multiple choice. So let's see at what it comes up with. And here we are. We have our text. This is taken from the transcript, summarized. We have a summary in three very quick little lines, vocabulary lists, multiple choice, and all those short and open-ended prompts. Again, excellent to use with our students. And let's say you want to change the reading level. You can always change it up here. Let's leave it at grade five and then export and share. I'm going to use a different format. I'm going to go for a printable format. Here we are, and we're going to use the five W's. Let's go ahead and generate this right now. This is a Google Slides template, and we can now click on open Google Slides. We're going to click on that, and this will open up that Google Slide. Again, it's taken all the information and popped it into a Google Slide. We have our teacher instruction page. Again, this is to help us. We can delete this before we share it with our students. And then each page shows us all the different key vocabulary, who, where, when, what, then there's also a read and summarize. You can add notes on the right hand side. It's turned it into an answer and explain page as well as some short answer questions, reflect and discussions, and also many, many more. An incredible tool for teachers. Diffit, I will leave a link in the comment section below. Go and check it out whilst it's still in beta. And even when the beta is over and you need to sign up for a shorter period of trial, try it out and then speak to your school leadership if this is something you really, really like, and you can see the benefits of using this in class. Now, at the moment, looking at their website, it does look like they are definitely targeting whole school subscriptions. They're not offering any individual teacher subscriptions apart from the free subscription that they will have even after this period ends. So there will always be a free this free will be limited. So here, let's have a look at what they actually are offering for free versus what they will be offering later on. So here you can see Diffit Lite will be free for teachers. 
They again let you create those different documents up to 2,500 words, whereas the school license will have 10,000. And then also here you can see, you can choose your own level for the special school license and you can also choose your doc level. This is all automated in the free version. You can print and download PDFs. This is excellent, but all those templates you saw, those Google Slides, Docs, Forms, all those different exports, they are all part of the school license once this goes premium. And then obviously you can still save your resources both in the free and school license. Again, I will link to this page as well so you can show this to your school leadership. And that's Diffit, not a sponsored video, but I love what they've created. Now here you can see a list of all our channel members. Now the channel members make it possible to continue producing this content regardless of what happens on the back end of YouTube. I can keep making content and you can keep finding out about new and interesting applications. So if you are able to join this channel as a channel member, please consider joining our channel. If that is not an option right now, no problem. A like and a subscribe will do so much to help grow the channel and reach even more teachers and educators like yourself. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.